Welcome to my uh, guided session for you of Yoga Nidra. I want to give you a little bit of a Nidra 101 as such. If you've never done Yoga Nidra before, um, there's a few things that uh, are kind of essential to get the most benefit of it. Now you can do Yoga Nidra sitting in a chair if that's more comfortable for you but the best position is to be laying on your back okay I have a flat pillow so just to keep you comfortable for your head and neck and I also have a bolster or you could use a um, pillow and I like to put that underneath my knees okay just to give me some support uh, Laying on your back, palms facing up, and relaxing. Then have a pillow, or sorry, a blanket to cover yourself up, making sure you're nice and warm and cozy. So even some slippers or nice warm socks uh, as well. And just let your legs relax. Your feet will go out slightly, toes will point out slightly. Just nice and relaxed. Make sure the palms are facing up and eyes closed and ultimately you want to be somewhere where you're comfortable where you feel safe where you feel warm so finding that place in your home uh, could be in your bedroom you can lie on your bed however you may fall asleep so we want i want you to try to stay awake okay so i'm going to let you get comfortable while uh, I just start the first part of our practice. So Yoga Nidra is, if done on a regular base, basis, will improve your sleep, your mood, and your stress level. This is going to be more of an abbreviated session um, to build ourselves up for that full practice. When I first started doing Yoga Nidra, uh, well, over a year now, ago um, the first time I did it and um, the guide said that we were going to be do, needing to, to think of a sankalpa or a resolve. It really kind of stressed me out that first time. So I'm not going to do that for this first session. I'm going to explain to you what that sankalpa is or that resolve is. So that's something that you believe fully with your whole being, your whole body. So. I am energized. I am the one, and you can have, you can change them if you want, but really the best thing to do is think of one that really speaks to you. So I am aware. I am open. I am healed. So something that is in the now. So instead of saying, I am healing, I am healed. Okay, so if you're going through a rough patch, maybe thinking that you're healed, you're not in that process of healing, you're, you're there. Okay, so something that you can believe full heartedly. So I want you to really think about that over the next uh, week or so, because then we're going to start bringing those sankalpas or those resolves into our practice. Um, but like I said, I like to give you that warning so that you know that that's going to be coming up and you can think about it. And don't stress about it. Just, you know, when you're sitting quietly in the mornings doing your meditation, maybe start thinking of something like that. Okay. And you can use, if you feel like you want to do something different all the time, that's fine. But like I said, if you can find something that you can really wholeheartedly believe in, that's the one that you're going to keep. Okay. So, for today, I just want you to get comfortable in Shavasana. And again, your head and neck on that pillow, uh, laying on your back, maybe something underneath your knees, your palms facing up, hands beside your body. Closing your eyes. If you have an eye pillow, you could put the eye pillow on or even just a small hand towel just helps you really connect to that third eye and get you really um, within yourself okay so closing your eyes I want you to become 
aware of your surroundings. Okay, I want you to envision through your mind's eye, so keeping your eyes closed, I want you to envision the room you're in, okay, the ceiling, the floor, the four walls around you. Now I want you to become aware of maybe some outside noises, noises outside of your building, uh, maybe traffic, could be dogs barking, whatever you hear outside that building. Now, perhaps outside the room, maybe you hear your family in another room, TV may be on, radio. And finally, I want you to acknowledge the noise that's right in the room. It could be the hum of your computer, obviously the sound of my voice coming through. But I want you to hear all those outside noises and I want you to acknowledge them. Don't let them bother you. Just acknowledge that they're there and then just let them go. Let them go. Don't worry about them. Close your eyes and think about yourself. You are safe. You're warm. You're comfortable. All your busy and negative thoughts leave your body with every exhale. And your openness and allowing thoughts are inhaled in. So inhale, pushing those abs out. Exhale, pulling the abs in, exhaling all those negative thoughts out. Inhaling openness, awareness, exhaling negative closed-minded thoughts. Continue to do that just for a few more seconds. Inhaling and exhaling. Imagining at the same time a place where you're safe and just recreate that feeling of being safe, comfortable, warm, Yoga Nidra is the practice of cultivating a more peaceful and resilient mind, transitioning into a deep rest, moving from thinking and doing to being and feeling, moving away from thinking and doing to being and feeling. Stay with my voice to be your guide. Repeat to yourself, I will stay awake. I will listen to my guide's voice. As I transition you through the different parts of your body, I want you to repeat them to yourself. That'll help you with relaxing and also help you stay awake. The practice of Yoga Nidra is about to begin. I ask that you become aware of your right hand. Your right hand thumb. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Pinky finger your right palm, the back of your hand, wrist, forearm, right elbow, upper arm, right shoulder, the right side of your waist, the right hip, your right thigh, knee, shin, ankle, your right heel, the bottom of your foot, 
the top of your right foot. Right. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. Bring your awareness to the right side of your body. Now bring your awareness to your left hand thumb. Left hand thumb. Your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. The palm of your left hand, the back of your left hand, wrist, forearm, left elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left side of your waist, left hip, thigh, knee, shin, your left ankle, your left heel, bottom of your foot, top of your foot, your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Become aware of the whole left side of your body. Now become aware of the back of your body, the back of your head, the back of your neck, your right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, your spine, lower back, your right buttocks, and your left buttocks, your right hamstring, and your left hamstring, your right calf, and your left calf. Become aware of the whole back of your body, the whole back of your body. Now become aware of the front of your body, the top of your head, your forehead, your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, right eye, left eye, right cheek, left cheek, your right ear, and your left ear, your nose, the tip of your nose, your right nostril, left nostril, your mouth, your chin, the right side of your jaw, left side of your jaw, the front of your neck, your right collarbone, and left collarbone, your chest, your ribs, your abdomen, 
your pelvis. Your right leg, your whole right leg, your left leg, your whole left leg, right arm, your whole right arm, left arm, your whole left arm. Now become aware of your whole head. Now your whole body. Become aware of your whole body. Become aware of your whole body. Now become aware of your body lying on the floor. The points of contact, your heels, your buttocks, your elbows, the back of your hands, your shoulder blades, your head, all lying on the floor in contact with Mother Earth. Your whole body is in contact with Mother Earth. Gently, Mother Earth is holding you. You are warm. You are safe. You are comfortable. Now see your body lying on the floor, a mere image of yourself on the floor. See your face, your eyes closed, your hair, your relaxed forehead and relaxed mouth. See your blanket covering your body, picturing your feet and your legs underneath that blanket, your hands and your arms, your stomach and your chest as they rise and fall with your breath. Now bringing your awareness to your breath, inhale and exhale through your nose. Inhale, pulling in the air, starting with the stomach, pushing your stomach out, inhaling all the way up into your chest. Now reverse and exhale from your chest all the way down, pulling your abs in as you exhale. Pushing the air out when you exhale, pulling the air in with your stomach as you inhale. Continue to breathe in this manner for the next minute. With your next inhale, hold it at the top of the breath, five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Again, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Return to your normal, normal breathing. Inhaling through the nose, pushing the abs out. And exhaling through the nose, pulling the abs in.
We are now going to explore some rapid visualization. I'm going to name some things and I want you to picture them in your mind and any feelings or emotions that arise with them. I'm going to be going fairly fast. I'd like for you to keep up as best you can with that visualization and then feeling and acknowledging any emotions that arise from that. Let's get started. A flickering candle. Weeping willow tree. Colored clouds gathering on the horizon. A starlight night. Full moon. A dog begging. Cat sleeping. Elephant charging. The rising sun. Setting sun. Human skeletons. Yourself lying down naked. Cold winter. Chimney smoke rising from an old farmhouse. Fire in a fireplace. Dawn of a new day. A yogi sitting in meditation. You sitting in meditation. and you lying just as you are right now. Stay with that image of yourself lying just as you are right now. We are going to begin to move our bodies, starting with your toes, wiggling your toes. Wiggling your fingers, maybe bending your knees, reaching up over your head, stretching your arms up, and bringing those arms down again. When you're ready, roll over onto your left side and stay there for a moment. Now at your own pace, I want you to sit up, maybe in a cross-legged position, opening up your eyes, returning your attention to your surroundings. You may want to reach for your journal at this time perhaps some of those rapid visualizations brought up some uh, emotions that you would like to jot down. This is just a very small portion of Yoga Nidra. I hope you enjoyed it. We are now done our practice. I'll be coming back in the next week or so to continue on with our practice. And until that time, namaste. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide today.